it's exactly what people the dyno on dyno or on Mustang dynos need to watch. baseline. Yeah, you said it made 575, 535 on the other dyno that you're okay. on. So within six horsepower, that's pretty good. Yeah. We're going to reach high, bro. Yeah. We're going to reach high. Six horsepower high. No, low, actually. Yeah, lower than I was the other. Say, everybody says ours reach high. I know. It seems to be when other people bring their cars that dyno a certain number and it comes in. It doesn't hit that number. It's unfortunate so. how that happened. Well, that would be like 300 on a Mustang dyno. Well, they told me they told me it would it would make like 1450 on a dyno jet, but it made it made 730 on their dyno. Cool, sick, bro. Yeah. yeah. Except for Mustang dynos, you can manipulate way more than a dyno jet. People don't seem to know that. No, AMS did a really, really good video on that. Maybe you have to put the link. Okay, I don't know if I've seen it. Dude, Just send it to me. It's exactly what people, the dyno on dyno or on Mustang dynos, need to watch. They have like a Nissan Sentra on the dyno. Yeah. And it dynos like two, two ten or two something. So you know? like normal. <laughs> Yeah, and then they're like, oh, we put our stage 67 package on it. Like, obviously, it's a huge dude, joke. Dude. Yeah, and they just manipulate the dyno yeah. settings, and then they say, like, oh, we added a turbo, and we did this, and, and it ends up making, like, 600 horsepower. And then at the end of the video, they're like, uh, yeah, we actually did nothing but just change the dyno settings yeah. to manipulate it to read something different. And, it's a really good video. Because dyno jet, you can put in, I mean, a uh, Mustang dyno, you can put in like weight. You can put in any vehicle it's... weight and shit like that so it'll load the dyno differently and that's how it calculates the horsepower because of the way it's loaded and how much the vehicle weighs and how fast it's spinning the roller, et cetera, right. et cetera. Yeah. Yeah, we can't do that. Can't Our do that. Our numbers are very consistent. Cannot do that. The only thing we can basically do is like change the correction factors, SAE, STD, et cetera, like that, and it shows it on the graph what it is. So. Right. Well, I saw someone's comment about that six gen. They were like, "No way, it made that much bolt-on power increase, whatever." They changed the correction factor. I'm like, "Well, if you change the correction factor, yeah, it the would baseline still would go the baseline down as well. would do it as so, well." Yeah. STD, your correction factor, the numbers are here and here. SAE, they would just be here and here. That's why we that show an same. increase. Correct. Here's about final number. People just read the internet. I mean, the internet is where I got the majority of my knowledge. I just read, like, Wikipedia, since they can't put stuff that's fake on yeah. Wikipedia. Yeah, it's all facts. Um, yep. Yeah. Ebay a lot is where I get a lot of my parts from. Yep. For like my race car and stuff. Yep. Sarcasm meter through the roof right now. Beyond. Yeah. Yeah, so for those people saying, well, the Mustang dyno is more accurate. Yeah. yeah. Not really. Nope. A loaded dyno jet is one of the best dynos there is. Yeah. For consistency, for like tuning aspect i mean yes there is some other badass like hub dinos that are awesome for certain yeah. things um but as far as just a standard normal dyno a loaded dyno jet one of the best there is because if you don't have the load you can't it's just a free spinning wheel so right. there's only load like when you start spinning the roller and then once it starts spinning then it's just 
pre-spinning. That's why a lot of people, if they don't have a loaded 224 dyno jet, they prefer the old school 248 dyno jet because it has a big ass wheel. They're the ones that sit like five feet out of the ground. Yeah, yeah. Like they, they're really high up. Because the wheel is super heavy. So that it's like a basically load. simulating the load. Yeah. yeah, because it's super heavy. Yep. Smart. But that's like, I mean, that's why Dino Jet did that back in the day before they came out with like eddy currents. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was like, uh, remember that uh, Dino Wars thing? Where like, yeah. We put our car on that made 1500 on our dyno, and we put it on their Mustang dyno, and it did 1200. It made, yeah, 12. I don't remember. I think it might have made, by the time I was done like playing with it on dyno, I think it might have made just over 1300 or something, but. Yeah. But then it was super long pull. Like every Dude, pull was Dude, the pull was so like long. five minutes long. Like I was scared to stay in it. It was just, it was so loaded. Yeah. Was, and then magically, other cars just happened to. Yeah. All of a sudden, the pull went from like a, minute long, horsepower. a minute long pull to a 10 second long pull, and all of a sudden it picks up 400 horsepower. Yeah, someone uh, wasn't happy that their car wasn't winning the dyno contest. So then all of a sudden, they uh, made another pull, and it picked up 400 horsepower. It's amazing how but, that happened. But they only added two pounds of boost. That's it, two pounds, yeah. Two pounds is good for 200 yeah. horsepower, or a pound is good for 200 horsepower each. Yeah. But in retrospect, the tools. It's a tool. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with Mustang dynos if they're like calibrated right and the people aren't screwing with the numbers and shit. It's the, the tuning tool. Yeah. But How other than that, screw with the yeah, I mean, the problem is, is people want to pump up their own heads and, oh, my car made 1500 horsepower. Like, well, why did, it, why did it trap 145? <laughs> Yeah, not so far. Is that just air fuel, or you got timing too? No, mainly air fuel. Okay. I don't it's think I, I don't think I touched the timing in here. No, I haven't touched the timing yet. Timing cable. Very odd. Speaking of what we were talking about earlier, the dyno stuff, people often ask why some people use SDE, one uses SAE, you want to kind of explain that a little? No. Okay. Sure don't. Alright, well then I will. You don't even need to worry about it, just worry about the increase and yourself. Well. Stop reading the f***ing internet. Well, the reason we did it is because that's all the f***ing internet used. Everyone's that comparing is, apples to oranges. That's very true. They're comparing STD that, numbers. That to package SAE. makes 40 more than yours. Yeah, well, we were using SAE, and then someone was comparing STE numbers. So we're like, you know what? We'll just use what the internet uses. Standard correction factor. All of a sudden, guess what? Now we're higher than everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> so people want to compare apples to apples. We switch stars to an apple. Make sense? Yeah. That's the dumbed down version of it. Mm -hmm. Gladly show you an SAE of yours. It's, it's fine with us. Got himself an SS! Oh, that's really, really appropriate for the children watching.
you know, you're a real scumbag. This is what we did before, didn't we? You did uh, heads cam to this before. Yeah. You dust it. So, Eric, what are you doing? Uh, just some pieces of the Pro Charger. Had to remove a factory, um, a trans core, and put a smaller guy in there. Is that your factory one? Oh, that's your new boy. Just a little boy. Just a little boy. This is the one getting a D1X, right? Pretty sure it is. Do you want to Thought so. This is basically my wires in here for uh, power for my fuel pump, power and ground for my meth pump. And then I also run my. <clears throat> this is for the meth LED that'll go inside. And this is the pin for the ethanol on the computer. So I run all that along the frame rail, heat tape it. Right along with the factory harness. And that's inside the loom. Yeah, it's inside and the loom. And wrapped it as well. Yep. That's good. So, like, yeah, you got the loom. So you can't even tell, like, what's factory and what's what we did. Because this is all factory stuff. It's the same, same procedure. My power is separate for fuel pump and meth. That way, if for some reason it blew a fuse, you wouldn't lose both. Okay. Could save the car from going lean because you'd still either have the backup fuel pump or you'd still have methanol. True. <clears throat> my relay here for my fuel pump. Also, your meth is nicely uh, obviously. taped up too. So, all that comes down here and then use a 7 psi hob switch for factory style blowers and whipples. Pro chargers we use for. And then it all comes down here basically with the fuel line and I'll run this down to the fuel pump and then all the way back to the meth pump. Looks good, Matt. And you got your fuel system lines next to it. Yep, and then me up my other. This is the rest of the methanol harness. I usually run along with here. And I'll tie that into my solenoid and the mass airflow sensor. So these are a lot of the things when I say wiring, what doing wiring, it's there's a lot more to it than just tapping and soldering. It's there's a lot. Fishing lines back to the back of the car, running harnesses, making your own harness essentially. But we try to do things as clean as possible. Everything in the loom and then taped up over that. Can't tell what's not factory. Looks good. Does it make you feel better now? It's nice. You're a gem. A little, little JSB? It's just blue. It's JSB. No. That's just blue. Yeah. Not a fan. I am. I know. So you either love it, people love it or hate it. I just not a fan I, of it. I also love LSB. Sake of LSD? Yeah, LSD. Uh, Different. Could be like long sad dicks. If you like them. What is a sad dick? Is it just like classic? Like a limp okay. one. Okay, all right. You got you. Limp sh dicks. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's good. Yep. So, I guess this thing would pick up maybe 25. Little soldiers dancing. Uh, all right. That's enough. <laughs> um... It's 100% bone stock, 100 and we just stock. did the heads 
No milling. No milling. So no bump and compression, just ported. 25 is probably a good guess. Yeah. Stock intake, stock manifold, stock Yeah, pads. literally. Yeah. It got plugs and cylinder heads. Yeah. And gaskets and related parts, but yeah. yeah. So Spark little, plugs and cylinder heads. Little increase in flow in and out on the heads, but no compression. So I'm actually interested to see what, what it does. The guy legit was like, I will be happy if it makes no more horsepower than it did before. He just wants to drive it and have peace of mind that it's not going to destroy his car. Yeah. Which, I don't blame him. <laughs> Dude, when we baseline this thing, it's stunk like a cat stunk. Like he's How many miles never floored it ever. 12,000 something? Oh, that was I was hitting the right button. 16,301. Okay. So pretty low. Not bad for a weight. Yeah. For 11 years. Yeah. My race car is like 6,000. Yeah. Hard 6,000. Yep. <laughs> My ZR1 has like 20, 20, 21 maybe. Okay. It's about average. I think for a ZR1. It's a 2010. I had to think about that. I'm just going to make a pull. <laughs> Five more than I thought right off the bat. Yeah, not uh, not terrible. That's that's for sure. Matt's got the blower on. Yep. Put the blower and snout. Looks killer. Now he's going to do the inserts. All there is to it, let me know. So Matt has finished up this ZL1. It is ready for the dyno. Looks killer. We have not fired it up yet. Fran's got to flash it. But he is already starting on his next project. Another ZL1. That one is our stage four, basically max effort stock blower. This one's getting our stage five. Only real big difference is upgraded blower. So this one is getting, this one's getting a Whipple, right? Yep. Okay. And you've already started ripping and roaring away. Sure have. This is the Alaska car, if you did not know. 
baseline this a little while ago. Uh, that's that's real nice. So cam package, fuel system, meth, uh, lower pulley, headers, exhaust, Whipple, all the components that go with it, plugs, fluids, bolts, lifters, you take the heads off, valve springs, chimneys, chimneys, I don't know what that is. Plump extras. Yeah, they don't really list that sort of stuff, it's just kind of like included. So you will see that uh, um, we has no Eric. He is not sick, surprisingly. Well, I mean, he is sick. He's, but he's always sick, actually. He hasn't missed work for you yet. <laughs> he is not off not sick. Not well. He is uh, at uh, Chevy Carlisle Nationals, whatever that GM National crap is. That's he's at, nice. He's at Carlisle. What up? You know, 